Hey everybody, today's video is brought to you by Smart Art, the monthly art subscription box with lots of fun stuff. This month's Smart Art box is all about hand lettering. So they sent me everything I needed to create some hand lettering, which I've never actually gotten into. I've tried for like five seconds to do calligraphy and it really intimidates me. So I'm kind of excited to give this a go. And I will go through one by one and kind of show you the, the packs that they sent me. Um, this first one, hand letter writing kit. It comes with several different pins, a pencil, and a really cool eraser. The awesome thing is this is a Tombow brand, which is a really well-known brand or well, at least where I live is a really well-known brand and I really like it. I have a lot of Tombow things. So I was excited to try out these products. Now, aside from the pencil, which I have used a lot of the Tombow pencils, which I think is pretty much all of the graphite pencils that I have are Tombow. And I have used that eraser before, but the markers themselves I had never used. So um, I was excited. They sent a whole wide variety. They have some that are a little bit a little stiffer in the nibs and some that are really, really soft, some that are a lighter gray color and then others that are black, just to give you a nice variety to choose from. And I found that there was one that I really, really liked over others. And that was nice because what I like as an artist may not necessarily be what another artist likes. So this pack was perfect. Now, the reason I have been really nervous about doing hand lettering is that one time a person told me that left-handed people can't learn to do calligraphy. And usually I never let, if someone says, oh, a left-handed person can't do something, that, that doesn't make sense to me because left-handed people, it's the same as right-handed people, we just use the different hand. But what they said made sense to me. And that's because when you're doing calligraphy, if you're right-handed, you are drawing the pencil or the pen or the brush across the paper. Whereas with left-handed, we have to push the pencil or brush across the paper when we're writing. And that can be really hard on your brush, um, really hard to get those kind of lines that you need. So it really intimidated me. So this entire themed box gave me a chance without being afraid of messing up. It gave me all the tools that I needed to give this a really good go. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is just test the markers out and see what they look like, see which ones I like. I'm gonna try to make a little worded statement or phrase that uses every single one of the markers, but it's nice to know what the products do before you jump into something that's more of your final piece. I will tell you right now, I have a lot to learn about hand lettering. This is by no means a tutorial on how to do hand lettering of, of any sorts. My goal in this video is to encourage you. If you have ever had someone tell you, oh, you're, you can't do this, you know, you can't draw or you can't paint or doing this is really too hard, even if it's non-art related, someone's told you you can't do it, don't just take it as face value that there's something that you have a limitation to do just get out there and try. It's okay to mess up. It's okay to even fail. But to never have tried at all to do something and, and just believed what someone told you you could or could not do is so sad. Don't do that. Give If you have a dream that you want to do and everyone says, no, you can't be a professional artist or you can't make a... a a life um, doing, you know, writing music or creating something or whatever it is you want to do. Don't give up on your dreams because someone told you you can't. Give it a go. Give it a try. For big or small, it doesn't matter. Just go for it. And I'm excited to say that calligraphy is challenging for me. And I can see where that person had a point. It is definitely not impossible for a left-handed person to do calligraphy. In fact, if you are left-handed and do calligraphy, would you just let me know in the comment section? I love it when you guys share your stories and your tips and ideas. I definitely read all the comments below. So again, if you can do calligraphy, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, let me know. And if you see in my practicing that there's something that I could do better or a tip or something like that, let me know. I love learning. And just because I make and produce YouTube videos does not mean that I know everything that there is to know about art. I'm still continuously learning and I love learning. There's thousands of you guys who watch this video and I'm just one person sharing with you what I know and I love to learn the thousands of things that you guys know. 
the last thing I want to leave you guys with is kind of what this message says. I was trying to decide what to write in my hand lettering, calligraphying, and I love this phrase when I came across it. Be kind. Everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. You don't know what someone else is going through. And I know the internet, it can be so easy for us to be mean on the internet because you don't have to see that person's face if you say something mean to them. You don't have to see the look on their face. I'm really blessed because so many of you guys are super nice and super encouraging. I, I get the occasional mean comment, but for the most part, you guys are awesome to one another. And I just want to encourage you to continue to be awesome and continue to be creative. And again, I want to give a big thanks to Smart Art Box for sponsoring this video, helping me to continue to create things that I enjoy creating. If you're interested in trying out one of their monthly subscription boxes, I will leave a link to their website in the description box below. You can check out all the information. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, God bless you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Write some stuff in the comments and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.